In the A, B tests where we have two moving vehicles, our Hunter with an RT3000 in it, and a moving soft target, we have two options. We can have an autonomously guided soft target that has an RT calculating position. In this video, we have a, a soft target that's been towed by a, a manually driven vehicle. We have an RT in the target and we've displaced the output to the back of the soft target. We're calculating the longitudinal range between the hunter vehicle and that soft target. And a time to collision value is what the test engineers are looking for here. The soft target is being towed by another vehicle in this scenario. And the RT output from the RT is displaced to the soft target from the vehicle that's towing it. We're capturing the longitudinal range between the hunter vehicle and the test vehicle, or the soft target. And as that target breaks, the time to collision value is an important data point that we're capturing, as well as the position of the hunter as it comes to a stop and avoids crashing into the target. Test engineers run through this a number of times to capture sample data sets where the vehicle may crash into the target, but the objective here is to avoid the collision. In this test, data has been logged in real time, so the driver of the hunter vehicle, the test vehicle, can monitor speed and position in real time. And then back in the office, that data is post-processed so that we can look at the specific points in time when the vehicle started braking and where they, when it ended up at the end of the maneuver. The data is exported into another format, for example CSV, for much more closer scrutiny. AEB testing has become a very, very popular form of ADAS testing worldwide. Since the beginning when cars first had AEB systems on them, OXTS led the way in developing the breakthrough technology to make this happen. The OXTS system, or RTs, are the system of choice globally for driving robot and platform manufacturers for tests like this.